So let's let's say first item stride breaker, of course. We go for the good base. We get the whip. We get the stride. Super good. Cleaver second generally just feels really good. The stats of it very good. So I've been yeah. pretty good about cleaver. Third, you can go mostly death stats, but some games you can go titanic as well. And the, Titanic's what, what actually does, good. I mean, what uh, is the difference? When do you buy third item Titanic and when do you buy Death Dance? So, like, if they have like 4 AD or like a, a lot of AD physical damage, I go DD third. Most of the time, mm -hmm. you're going to go Death Dance third. If they have a lot of AP, then you can go like Sterix or Titanic third. What Sterix about, is like... good, but problem with Sterix, if they have a lot of AP too, you can't go Sterix and Maw. So, you don't have a good like attack damage MR item. So, Sterix is better when it's just like a high burst comp, but mm -hmm. also like a good amount of, you know, attack damage on the enemy team. How is like maybe. Definitely, yeah, Spear don't really need it. Titanic, I actually think is very strong, but you have to find good times to build it. By third item, it can be really strong. It gives you mm -hmm. a good enough amount of attack damage. Yeah, and also. What do you think about the Nimbus Cloak? Uh, I think that one is good, but or just or go back to free boots and cosmic is fine. This page is fine. Also, if you're against a comp with a lot of crowd control, I like just going tenacity now because stride breaker you build attack speed anyways now, so it's not it doesn't feel that bad to have no attack speed, you know. Mm -hmm. But what you can just have a page like this game? most games. No, no, no. So like when I look at the if I need tenacity, I look at the enemy team. It, Usually I don't want to build Merktress, I either want to go Tabbies or like, just maybe CDR boots or something. I only go Merktress yeah. if jungle mid is, a jungle and mid or AP, and I need like CC. This game, Tabbies looks pretty good, right? So if I need Tenacity, I'd probably go Tenacity from Rune, because I don't think I want Merktress against that comp. Mm -hmm. It's the team all. Yeah, so like right away, like we talk about know your jungle matchup, know like your lanes and stuff like that. Just think about how you want to path. What are the jungle matchup? Nunu. He's a level 2-3 ganker. You have to think that, okay, this guy might try something fast. He's like, he's similar to Rek'Sai once that level 2-3 gank. Mm -hmm. Enemy top, Teemo versus Darius. I have Darius, they have Teemo. This is obviously impossible to really gank early. It's just like Darius has to just kind of get pushed in, right? So Teemo is going to push the wave in to Darius. But if you're on red side, it means you can gank Teemo. If you're on blue side, doesn't you can't gank him. Remember we talked about blue and red side, the wall, red side, red wall makes it easy to kill top because you can just get behind yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue side is very easy to kill bot. I always camp bot, level three gank bot. So just think about which side you're on. So if you're blue, then it's like, obviously we're going to focus bot side here. Enemy team is MF's Senna versus Jin Morgana. 2v2 bot lane has a range advantage, Senna, but they're very gankable, very immobile, right? So it's like, Super good for you to just take take advantage of and just keep camping the enemy bot. And yeah, use the only big. problem if Senna hits me with W without vision. Yeah, but if you get the wall advantage from behind them, they're pretty much dead. Yeah. Or you want to be level one, okay? And if they're gonna be invading, you drop the ward in the brush right next to you. If you're against like a comp that can probably invade you. This game you should be okay. How wide is your monitor, by the way? Super wide screen. Yeah, it's ultra wide. Usually, if they lane invade you, they'll probably do it like pretty early, so you should be okay. This is Loilo, obviously they're not going to do it, but just remember, this is generally where you want to be, and then you want to ward there. Start right here and mm. just go farm now. Do the clear. Oh. You can fight her here. Just Q her. Auto Q. Q E. Beautiful. Now go bot still. I think you should be able to gank still. Just Q flash him, right click. Auto cap. Oh no. Fucking blind. Do I get yeah. You you should buy that item. Remember use your auto attack as a reset when you when you always flash on them. Buy that item, that's good. Nice auto queue. Super practice that. You gotta work on your mechanics a lot. Practice more. Think about like what you're trying to practice to. Auto cues. Every time you're jungling. I think I always do auto Q reset. No, 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 no. Let me let me show you some stuff, okay? Okay. Yeah, of course. So, auto Q, right? 
it should be slow it should be a bit slow it takes some time to actually see going like just you have to wait for that one auto to register and the reason why it's so important because it builds up your fury right plus it's just extra damage and then once you get that bar rage going you have like the the fury it's like way better stride breaker obviously a good item utilizing walls so this game what what did you do you went to like go like this right you you cut off the irelia she came here you killed her right that was good the path was good usually we're gonna do that i really would probably wouldn't ward most games and we're gonna get behind bot and we're gonna go for the ball play here right? and remember the wall sometimes I, here you did like a short wall you should do long wall you're like trying to wall from here right remember uh, not all the time i mean don't uh, no one no one I wards was, but... here no one ever wards like when you want a wall you have to get the perfect spot here you want that position you want that nice position here because the reason you want remember like the tree we talk about just like line it up there it gives you the max range and then once you get over the wall you miss tower shot and you're in position and once you go here i mean if you have to flash now you can just right click so it doesn't matter if they're in menu wave Remember, we always try to hit Q, then auto Q, and that should be like a full bar right there. Mm -hmm. And it should just give you so much more value here. What I saw, first of all, like it was here, and then it was here, and then you did like a short wall like this. Nunu was up here, but like if you just angled it farther, and you stood in like more of a position, you could definitely, it could have been so much farther up, right? Yeah, but like it happens to me a few times when I wanted to do the bug. This kind of long wall. Yeah, it the, doesn't matter about the there, bug. I, I didn't. The bug is not a problem. It happens just anytime. Don't worry about it. It won't happen like maybe once in a hundred tunnels. So just focus to get max range. Mm. And then like here, what I saw was like you went. It was just like so slow. Remember we talked about Q flash, right? Mm -hmm. That's, and we talk about that a lot. Uh, not that much, but you mentioned it. Yeah, so it's, it's like our combo. We want to hit Q, right, to get the max value. So if we're gonna yeah. Q, if we're gonna flash to reach this guy, we're gonna Q first and then flash auto like that. Like you see how fast I get like a full bar fury, and I'm ready to one shot. Like if I was in the situation that Timo, like you see, he would just be dead in that one second. So do you think you're still not auto queuing? Because when I he just didn't die, you just didn't. You flashed on him. But you had no fury to even E. And then he blinded you. So you just have to flash, right click, auto queue, E. Let that auto attack, you know, go off, right? Don't just queue. This is what you're doing, like that. Even you, what happens is you do you don't even queue hit. Sometimes you just like you walk up like this. Oh yeah, sorry. You walk up, and you go like this. Wait, my cue's not cool Like that, this is you. This is how you, you go for all the plays. I, I see it too much, right? It's not good. Too much when you're going for kills, you're like this. This is so bad, right? You see how slow that is? When it should be like, like that. You see? Can you show me the difference again, like starting with how I engaged? Because obviously I use Q. Mm -hmm. So this is what I you do. The auto, that's the problem. I mean, you just like flash, right click, but you cast Q. Like you don't even like sometimes you don't even hit the Q first, like this one. Sometimes you just flash on them like this, and you Q like that. This is you. You see how long it took me to get my bar. That's like how you went for it. You don't Q, you just flash on them. But for me, if I was to go for the play, I would like flash like that. So you, when you walk up to someone, you go like this. Very slow, not good. As you're jungling, you like right click and you cast Q fast. You see? You see how you're casting Q too fast? I'm not getting the auto attack reset. You see, this is what your problem is, I'll tell you. You think if I right click, it's going to auto attack right away, right? But that's not how it works. When you right click, it knocks them up right away. And then it all attacks after. So it takes time. You see? Mm -hmm. 
you you it's not an auto attack so you, what you need to be doing is wait for the real auto attack that's the auto attack it comes a bit later you right click auto queue like that you see that's the bigger issue that's what you have to remember okay the right click is not an auto attack once you right click you wait a little bit and then it autos so here auto and then i will queue after but you this is what you do right let me show you again this is you this is you you see how i just queued right away cancel that first auto very bad so fix this think really hard about this one this one will make your game 10 times better you're playing like hard mode right now and then remember we can flash with q if you can practice this like a lot and practice tool this will help you so much and remember hitting q gives us what 25 fury so this is important because it lets us get our fury faster because once we would try to combo it makes us be able to one shot okay so very important oh stride breaker area yeah. okay so remember i was talking about you're not using stride breaker that well it should be more like this like i'm e from like somewhere stride breaker q auto q e dead like if they're trying to run away i use it to catch up right this guy i'm about to get close to him stride breaker q auto e or just like remember stride breaker look at the range it, it has a pretty long range right it has longer range than my knockup. My knockup is short. Stride breaker is longer. If I stride breaker, it'll help me get closer to knock up, right? Yeah. So here, like I'm getting close. Stride breaker. Oh, now I'm in range. You see? That's how you utilize it. Or if you're just in your combo, maybe you don't even need it. You're in a combo. Just cast it whenever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't affect your movement, you see? Yeah. I so know. it's just no, don't worry about it. I mean, most of the time I don't play this bad like I yeah. was now. I think but it's I better you play bad because up again. I think it's better you play bad because now I taught you everything you need to work on, right? So this is important. I mean, usually I, I never miss. I remember the rec side combo. Just practice it. You see how fast you could be one shotting people. You, you, you can easily do it like Mia. This is how it should be done. I just want you to practice and just imagine yourself doing that. Very important thing. You can still knock people up like that too. Remember the right-click knockups? I showed you this, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's even easier now to do it with a new right-click knockup. Super easy. Someone's trying to chase me. I'm trying to run away. Oh, I just knocked you up. Very uh, good value. How is this mechanic? exactly works you knock up then tunnel no remember or... so no you tunnel right click tunnel and as i cast tunnel let's say i cast tunnel this way right click fast okay tunnel right click tunnel right click tunnel mm -hmm. then right click very valuable you know it's obviously it's like situations you want to use it but if you wait a bit you see how i couldn't click there because i waited too long yeah. you have to click yeah. right away you have to click right away if i wait too long it won't work once it's in the second Pretty much you're you're waiting for the the first animation so that's like yeah. useful remember the like thing I hmm? wanted to ask you showed me a combo and i tried to practice a few times but i didn't really use it when uh you're chasing someone and you have your uh, ult ready and you did something like uh mid-air puro re reset so oh yeah so when you hit someone it was your mark you burrow and then you like reburrow fast. Yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted to ask. Can you yeah. mm -hmm. like start the burrow animation during your flying in ult or? No, no. So pretty much what it does is you see how your cooldown on W is like four seconds, yeah. three seconds ish. So pretty much if you ulti someone, it puts it on one second. Every time you switch form, it put it on one second. Yeah. That's you cannot stop that. But if you Q them. And now I wait a bit. You see how this goes down? And then I ulti. I can burrow very fast, you see? Oh, I thought yep. there's some cheese or something. When you, you are flying towards your target with ult, you can start your burrow uh, during the animation. No, I mean, it's pretty much like that. Because like if I started like this, let's say, it has 
No, what? I don't have bro. Yeah, not You're... that thing, but I mean, like, cue this and I'm bro, and we wait, and you ult now, and during your ult jump, you can bro or something. No, no, it's like towards the end you can bro. Like, you see, now I can bro. Like, those are more important things. Obviously, like, Q flash, but you don't really. You don't have to worry. Or, uh, you can Q flash. You can E flash too. <laughs> that stuff, don't worry. I want you to pr practice his Q flash, right? Remember? This is Q. This is Q flash. You see how much faster it is? Mm -hmm. Now, let's say, let's put in the combo. And like that's how fast you can delete someone. Mm -hmm. 